In today's video, I'm gonna show you some cool effects that you can use to create this cool glitch transition. So you would need two scenes or two footage in your composition. So for mine, I have an animation here with the text glitch. And then the second part of this composition is this footage with this text transition. So basically what I'm gonna do is to create a glitch effect in between these two scenes to make a transition. All right, so let's create the map layer first. So I'm gonna create a solid layer and then let's call this fractal. And we're gonna apply a fractal noise to this layer. The most important thing for a glitch effect is to change the noise type to block. And then you wanna bring up your contrast and then you're gonna open your transform and untick this uniform scaling to split between the scale width and scale height. And usually I just bring up the scale width as high as I can. So I'm gonna bring this up to 9000 and then the scale height, I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit to 50. Now you can also change the complexity. So the higher it is, the more complex or detailed this fractal would be. And the lower it is, so for example, if I put it as one, it will be much more minimal and has less detail. So I'm just gonna turn it back to maybe four. So that's kind of like in between. And then the next thing you wanna do is to open this evolution options, put a time expression on the random seat. So alt click on that stopwatch icon and then type in time as there is 100. So at the moment, your fractal noise is animating randomly like that. Now, once we have this fractal or map layer, we're gonna turn off this layer because we won't be seeing it. We're just gonna use it as a map layer. Now let's create an adjustment layer. So this is where the glitch is gonna go. So let's type in glitch and then I'm gonna add this effect called displacement map. And the first thing they want to do is to change this displacement map layer to our fractal because that's our map layer. And then just make sure to change the source to effects and mask. Now you can already see the glitch a little bit. Now if you play around with the number, the max horizontal or the max vertical, you can adjust the amount of the glitch. There's a bit of black there, so we don't really want that. I'm gonna add a motion tile onto the glitch layer. So a motion tile. And then I'm going to bring the displacement map underneath the motion tile. And basically what we want to do is to add the output width and output height. And then just click on mirror edges. Now it's covered those black gaps. Now we're just going to close motion tile because we're not going to use it anymore. Now, the fun bits here, we're going to add more effects. And just make sure to save your project every time you add a new effect, just in case your After Effects crashes on you. Before we continue, have you ever wanted to save time on motion graphics? Motion Duck extension has thousands of animated templates that you can add to your animation. You can download a bundle pack, buy an individual pack, or subscribe if you don't want to spend too much in one go. They also have a free pack if you want to test them out first. It's so easy to use. The cool thing is you can customize them all. Check out the link in the description below to download. Now, back to the tutorial. The next thing is to add wave warp. So wave warp basically we're just gonna create waves like that. Instead of making it horizontally like this, we're gonna change the direction from 90 degree to zero degree. So it's more like vertical. You don't really see it at the moment, but if you bring up the wave height, then you can see how it distorted it. So I'm actually gonna bring it down maybe to 75 and bring up the wave width a little bit. So this is how it looks so far. So it's pretty hectic, right? Don't worry, we're gonna adjust that later. At the moment, we just wanna create this really intense glitch effect. The next thing is to add Phoenician Blind. So as the name suggests, Phoenician Blind will just create this line that mimics the look of Phoenician Blind. So I'm just gonna set the transition completion to 20. And then I'm gonna change the direction to 90, so it's horizontal like that. And then change the width from 20 to 15. And I'm just gonna add a feather a little bit to two, just to soften those edges. So it, this gives a bit of kind of like retro TV look. I just wanna add a couple more things to make it more intense. First one is to add hue and saturation. So what I wanna do is to bring up the master saturation all the way up so that it has this really vibrant color. And the last one is levels. So I'm gonna make this scene really bright. So I'm gonna bring this arrow to the left to bring up the highlight. Probably just gonna leave it there. Once you're done with this, you wanna cut this adjustment layer short, somewhere like there, just in the middle between the first scene and the second scene. So maybe like that is enough. So if we play it, it's just gonna have that glitch in the middle there to make a transition. Now what you wanna do is to create some keyframes. So let's start with displacement map first. I'm gonna create keyframe for the max horizontal and max vertical. And then if I hit U on adjustment layer, it'll bring up the keyframes that you've created. 
So I'm gonna create keyframes at the start and at the end. Basically, this will apply to the rest of the effects as well. We're gonna create three keyframes like this per set, and we're gonna leave the middle one as the most intense value, and the end and the start to be the least intense or even default. So for this displacement map, I'm gonna set the beginning and end of the layer to be 20. So it just kind of like animates from like slightly subtle to more intense. Actually, for the max displacement, I'm gonna reduce it to 5. That actually still look a bit intense, so I'm just gonna change it to 10. And this one as well, so 10, 5. Now let's move on to wave warp. For this one, we're gonna animate the wave height and wave width. So I'm just gonna click on you twice again. And as I said before, create 3 keyframes per set. And the beginning and end will be the least value. So for this one, I'm actually gonna set it to 0. Oh, for the wave width, you have to leave it as 1, so that's fine. And the beginning is 0 as well. Let's move on to Venetian blinds. So for Venetian blinds, we're gonna just animate the transition completion. Same thing, leave the middle one as the highest value, and then the end and the start to be 0%. Let's move on to hue and saturation, and we're gonna animate the channel range. So I'm gonna hit you twice again to bring up all of my keyframes. I'm gonna create keyframes for all three like this, leave the middle one. And then for the beginning and the end, I'm actually just gonna hit this reset button on the hue and saturation. And then the last one, levels. We're gonna animate the histogram. So for the beginning, I'm gonna hit reset button again so it becomes normal. And then the last one, also hit reset. Now once you've done with all that, you're gonna want to select all of the middle keyframes and hit F9 to make it easy. Now let's have a look. So now it feels more like a transition between the two scenes because of the keyframes. That's my trick to create glitch transition. If you have other suggestions on what effects I should use for this glitch transitions, please leave it in the comment below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.